Oh, he left the car on. Well, that's no good. I'll have to turn the car off. Silly man. I looked on YouTube to see if there was a an easy way to reach in and open that door. But oh, he's got the, the lights on. He won't, he won't see them. So here we are, sitting in our swing with the grass on the sides of it, you see? And here come all the traffic. There goes some traffic. It's a Friday. And people are coming up to close up the cottage this weekend, I would think. If they haven't already. I got them in Mitchell Khan. At the butterfly place. El Felipe. Oh. Something is. It was a, a pottery a pottery guy. <sighs> well, I had a wonderful campfire this afternoon. And I wrote in my journal and I took pictures. I didn't get the picture I really wanted because I couldn't find my phone. Then when I parked here, then I could get my phone. I like this grass on the sides of my swing. See, it's, it's held on by willow and the same on this side. Of course, this isn't held on by as much willow. I should probably put more willow there. I think I'm gonna put my chair, this whole swing, I think I'm gonna put it in the back of the trailer. And then I'm gonna, in the winter, and then I'm gonna drive it down here and sit in it in the back of the trailer. And then it'll always be out of the way when they have to snow plow. You never know how much snow you're going to have. They could say anything. But you know, by the time by the time spring comes, you know, they update their information all the time. And so they may have they, right now they're predicting it's going to be an El Nino year and it's going to be um, a lot of snow. I don't know. Last year Last year we were supposed to get a regular winter. And I think we did. How about you? You can tell me in the comments below what your winter was like last year. And what the predictions were. Like they're, they're predicting, we had really cold weather this week. I mean not really cold, but it was cold for, for what we're used to. And now we're, um, Now we're starting into a warm spell. So 13 today, 14 tomorrow. I don't remember what the numbers are, but the, the temperature is going to be rising. The high is a little higher every day. I probably can't get it because I don't have any cell service. Now I'm going to have to go and sit somewhere where I have some better cell service and upload these videos. But you know, I found out that it didn't really work anywhere. I might as well just put it in my laptop at the house. And they'll take a long time. Each one of these videos will take a day or more. There are long videos, 30 minutes. You know, whatever. I like the grass. You can still see through it. But it's a little privacy fence. So I had a great idea. I was going to write in my journal, as I always do, and then I was going to read the scriptures. So why don't we read the scriptures first? We'll read from the latter day scriptures about Jesus Christ when he showed himself to the people on this continent. And now it came to pass that there were a great multitude gathered together of the people of Nephi round about the temple which was in the land bountiful. I think that's in South America. And they were marveling and wondering one with another and were showing one to another the great and marvelous change which had taken place. So they'd just been through earthquakes and tempests and tornadoes and I mean the whole 
everything was broken up and everything was a mess and they'd been dark for three days with a mist of darkness where not even a candle would light. And so many people had died in all of that. And they were also conversing about this Jesus Christ of whom the sign had been given concerning his death. See, I think that was coinciding with his death in Jerusalem. There were consequences over here. It was like the weather just went nuts. And they and they and it came to pass that while they were thus conversing one with another, they heard a voice of as, as if it came out of heaven. And they cast their eyes round about, for they understood not the voice which they heard. And it was not a harsh voice. Neither was it a loud voice. Nevertheless, and notwithstanding it being a small voice, it did pierce them that did hear to the center. So all these people who have just survived, and who knows how wounded they are, um, they've just survived all these earthquakes and tornado and hailstorms and all volcanoes, everything that's happened. While they were conversing with one another, they heard a voice as if it came out of heaven, and they cast their eyes round about, for they understood not the voice which they heard. And it was not a harsh voice, neither was it a loud voice. Nevertheless, and notwithstanding it being a small voice, it did pierce them that did hear to the center, insomuch that there was no part of their frame that it did not cause to quake. Yea, it did pierce them to the very soul, and it did cause their hearts to burn. And it came to pass that again they heard the voice. And they understood it not. And, they th and again the third time they did hear the voice and did open their ears to it, and their eyes were toward the sound thereof. And they did look steadfastly toward heaven from whence the sound came. And behold, the third time they did understand the voice which they heard. And it said unto them, Behold my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, in whom I have glorified my name. Hear ye him. And it came to pass, as they understood, they cast their eyes up again toward heaven. And behold, they saw a man descending out of heaven, and he was clothed in a white robe. And he came down and stood in the midst of them. And the eyes of the whole multitude were turned on him, and they durst not open their mouths even one to another, and wist not what it meant, for they thought it was an angel that had appeared unto them. Okay, gotta go. Bye.